What is going on, diggers and diggettes? It is straight up metal detecting. I am Tripwire. Welcome to the first hunt of 2021. That's right. The downfall is that we're going to have scattered showers all day today. We were supposed to have them yesterday, but it didn't pan out that way. But I did get out yesterday. I was happy about that. And I do have the new Simplex, and I am running that today. Uh, thank you, everybody, that gave me information about the pinpointer and the, sim and, and, and the Simplex, how it's all jacked up. But anyhow, uh, I got Scrappy Diggs here with me. That would explain the handle. So we're going to do some metal detecting over at my old elementary school. I did find stuff up here with the Bounty Hunter uh, the first time. And the second time, I didn't really do too well. But now that we got the Simplex, let's see if we can find some more stuff. I think we can. I think the Simplex is going to come through. Let's find out. Alright, looks like we got our first uh, sound over here. We got our first hole, maybe. Uh, it's all over the place. The thing is that it's like really, really super deep. And because I'm, this is a new machine, I did figure out something. If you press this one button, I guess that this is, I guess that's the built-in pinpointer. When it wants to work. So, it's right about here, I guess. Well, we're going to dig here and we're going to figure out exactly what it is. Hopefully it's not too deep. Camera's acting up on me already. <laughs> this is the first show of the year. All right, here's what we got over here. Um, we pulled this out. Um, just an old piece of rust, definitely for the rust and peace section. But it looks like it could have been something interesting at one time. I'm not exactly sure what. But it does have like this little interesting detail to it. But we'll clean it up when we get to the incomplete. But right now we're just going to move on to the next hole. So I guess that this is what it means when you get like a four or five. I guess it's all rust. <laughs> Now, if you all thought that I was going to get a simplex and not dig garbage, you got another thing coming. Because <laughs> I do dig garbage, because I, I just love the thrill of the hunt. And I'd like to know what a 19 to 24 is. Let's find out. This is, I, I really dig this feature. I really love this feature. When it wants to work. Somewhere around there. It might be on the deeper side, though. Let's find out. Okay, the Simplex even told me that last hole was like super deep. So uh, I went as far down as I felt comfortable with, and I said, forget it. Uh, so anyhow, we got this another hit here. Nice and loud, but again, I'm still getting used to the numbers. This is like 69 to 72, something like that. It's uh, right here. Chances are it's a bottle cap. Boy, do I love this whole feature. Eee, like flying bumblebee. Meow. Can't hear it because of cars, right? All right, let's take this and find out what it is. It is on the deep side. I'm letting you know ahead. Ho, ho, ho. Boom. First coin of the day. Got ourselves, ourselves a little penny. Very happy. Very happy with the penny. So, uh, yeah, I guess between 69 and 74 is copper. Because chances are this is a copper penny. It looks it like a 1960s. But yeah, now we know what to look for. We look at numbers, see uh, those 69 to 74, we got ourselves copper. And you know I love my copper. Scrappy, are you still looking for evil squirrels? Yeah, they're coming out, and I'm going to get every single evil squirrel there is. I'm watching you. All right, I took the Simplex out for a walk yesterday. Well, this one, no, this one's actually steady. It's like between 45 and 56 in that area, I guess. Um, I found, uh, you'll see at the end complete, I found some nickels yesterday and it bounced. So I'm still trying to get nickels. But maybe this is a nickel. Let's hopefully it is. Let's see if this is a nickel or not. No, we do not have a nickel. We got something better. A squished Pepsi, <laughs> Pepsi cap. <laughs> well, at least I'm going to deal with a bottle cap. At least it's a brand that I really like. So <laughs> let's go on to the next hole. Okay, we got another hit. Again, we're in the 40s. 30s and 40s. Um, yeah, I'm just having fun with the machine. I'm still trying to figure it out. So, why not dig everything? And any chance I get to play with this little feature, I'm happy. <laughs> Love it. Now, it is saying that it is on the deep side. So, we're going to do our best to get it out. I'm right in front of the school. So, I normally don't dig super deep when I'm in the front. There it is. All right, let's dig it, and we'll find out what it is.
Stop. Why do you gotta be on top of me? Mm. Go. You're right in my way, doggy. I love you and everything, but you're right in my way. Are you eating puppy salad again? I think they're eating puppy salad. Anyhow, uh, what do we got here? We got a piece of garbage, but what were you expecting, right? <laughs> so, yeah, so we got some scrap here, but that's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm out metal detecting. I don't care. I don't care at this point because we're out here and we're actually getting the simplex. We're trying to figure out how it operates, and it is a lot simpler than what I thought it was going to be. Hey, what did you say? Tripwire. Dig some more scrap. Okay, I can do that. It's got a nice solid hit, and it's near the top, too, so that's the reason why I'm doing it for sure. 33, 22, hike. I could play this thing like a guitar if I wanted to. I love it. Anyhow, shut up, Tripwire. Just dig it all right. <laughs> yep, right on top. Another piece of scrap. But again, I don't care. I don't care. I'm having fun. And if you're not having fun metal detecting, try a different hobby. That's the advice from me. That's all I got to say. Holy crap. 81, 90, there's something there, but it's long. I think it's going to be really long, but yeah, we got something there. I want to know what this is. It's also near the top, too, so that is a good sign. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, we'll do a live dig on this one. What the heck, why not? Um, it's not as long as I thought it was. I guess I'm not used to the size of the coil. But the cool part is, is that it's basically near the top. It's like right there. So that's a good sign right there. I'm happy about that. But yeah, it's nice to be back. Thank you all for supporting the channel. Totally appreciate it. Um, camera's kind of acting up with me today. I don't know what the deal is. I think I turn it on and it ends up turning itself off. To be honest, I don't think this is as cool as what we think it is. But I'm glad to be back out. Um, one of the things I'm going to be doing a lot more this year because of the simplex, I'm going to be doing like maybe once a month, I'm going to be doing revenge hunts. Let's see what we can find. Okay, I think I know what the deal is. Maybe I don't. It's a lot deeper than what I thought it was. I'm still getting used to the depth on the machine here. Because the last one said it was like super deep and it wasn't. And then this one saying it was right on top was not. It's actually going down a little bit too far but let me show you what i do see is a tall tail sign you see these little white specks that are in there i believe that that is part of the metal they use this type of uh, metal when they uh make fencing posts back in the day and they got the little thing on top once it gets deteriorated to a point they begin to crumble and i believe that's what this is again i really don't know i don't memorize the numbers yet i haven't done that yet but I'm pretty sure like the 60s and 70s copper, uh, 70s, 80s, possible uh, nickel, silver or something. I don't know. We're going to learn as we go because that's how I like to do it. Right, Scrappy? Okay, sorry to bother you. <laughs> He's looking for squirrels. Well, I learned one thing. 18 is aluminum foil. Because <laughs> we got a piece of aluminum foil right here. <laughs> So I learned that today. That's a that's a plus. <laughs> see what, do you guys see what I see? Normally, I do not grab beer cans. I almost never do. Um, uh, you know what? I thought this was going to be older because I, I didn't recall uh, the painting being this. I, it just looked like you know it's an older can. I don't really want to take it, but I'm going to because uh, I just like to pick up stuff as I go. And ten cents is ten cents, but. At first, I thought they looked like an older beer can, but those are collectible, and that is not. Okay, we do have a hit here. Um, I like it that it's high, but it is, again, on the deeper side, but I'm in a little different area of the school. I still don't want to go too deep, but this is like a 50, 60 or sound. Chances are a bottle cap, full tap. Either way, we're about to find out. Um, metal detecting beginner to beginner strikes again. Yes. Um, apparently I found a nail. I found a nail. 
yeah it's all, all rusted out now i believe that's what the sound was so okay well i'm learning i'm learning we're digging we're having fun right 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 <laughs> all right we have something here we got something 60s and 70s maybe we got ourselves another penny it's in the 60s or 70s let's find out what we got all right all right um here we go i'm happy i'm very very happy chances are it's just junk uh it, i can't really tell if this was actually a piece of jewelry at one time or another we are at an elementary school so yeah there's a good chance it was just junk jewelry but it's jewelry to me nonetheless i believe unless i'm looking at it wrong which i've been known to do in the past but yeah we'll definitely clean this up at the end complete but yeah i mean i've been over this thing a ton of times over at the school and yeah i guess the simplex is pulling out stuff that i missed the first time because the first time i took out the simplex um it found me a piece of jewelry that day too so i, I think we're on a roll with this machine all right school is back in session we got something that's like halfway down and it's in the 20s and 40s This is right about there. So let's check it out and find out real quick. Don't. <laughs> there was a bottle cap, or no, I'm sorry, a pull tab in the grass. And 100 to 1, that's what it picked up. 100 to 1, it picked up the pull tab, which is fine. Donate your pull tabs. Goes to a very good cause. It's not hard to find. Just donate your pull tabs. I'm going to re-hit this. Maybe, uh, uh, maybe there, is, there is something else, but I doubt it. Okay. Um... There's some piece of something right there. Yeah, that's what it is. There, there's a piece, I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a piece of can sitting on top. Uh, I thought it was paper. I was wrong. <laughs> All right, here we go again. We are off in the uh, 60s and 70s. It's down a little bit deeper than what I like, but we got to figure out this machine. And so far, that's what it is. 60s, 70s, right in this area. Hopefully, it's another penny. Yeah. Stay, you stupid camera. All right, there we go. Uh, still in the hole, but we're gonna do a basically a, a live dig. Just we know where it is. That's a good sign. See, the machine said it was on the lower side, and it's really not that deep at all. I mean, we got it out already. And I don't know about you, but I could always use another bottle cap in my life. Who? I mean, who does not like finding bottle caps, especially when they're old Mountain Dew ones? Yay. <laughs> I don't care what machine you use, they're going to find bottle caps, whether you like it or not, so start getting used to it. <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm loving this to death, I really, really am. It's great to get back, and I thank you all very much for hanging out with me through the winter months when I wasn't able to get out. But we are out again, and look for videos every Saturday, I hope. If I can't, uh, I'll keep you guys updated if I'm going to start doing live streams weekly. Those have been going over very well. See any squirrels yet? Nobody's always looking. <laughs> All right, I'm digging this one just for the fact that it's louder than all. Super loud, 42 near the top. I got to actually yell so you can hear me maybe. <laughs> I know it's going to be crap, but I don't care. <laughs> I want to dig it. I want to know what this is. Boy, I'm good. I called it. I said it was going to be crap. And sure enough, it is definitely ultra crap. Total ultra crap for, for this hole. Oh, I had to dig it. There's no way I was walking away from that. It was near the top anyhow. Uh, we're going to do one more hole and then we're going to call it. Uh, be, due, due to the fact that it is starting to storm overhead. And I'm going to start keeping the videos a little bit on the shorter side due to upload time. And start looking for shorts. You know, shorts, like Scrappy Dig shorts. So, yeah, not Scrappy Dig, but shorter, short shorts. We had to talk about that, so I'll be releasing one of those a week also. But uh, we're going to head in that direction. Tree number one or tree number two? We're going to go over and detect tree number one. This will be the last hole for today, all right? Let's go see if we can get one more coin. Okay, this is not the last one of the day. I was on my way to the tree, and uh, nice loud 77, 75. It seems like it could be a coin, because it's in a small area. Um, so yeah, we're going to check this out. I'm hoping that's a penny. It, I found wheat pennies up here. Let's see if this is a wheat penny or not. Uh, let's see if it's a penny first. 
<laughs> yeah, why would it be a wheat penny? Why would it even be a penny? <laughs> Turns out it's just like a super old bottle cap. Very super old. But you know what? I, I want to know what bottle cap it is. So, yeah, I think I'm the only person in metal detecting history that cleans all this scrap. Just out of curiosity. <laughs> He's being dog. <laughs> all right, this is going to be the last one for today. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have a clue. All I know is that it's loud and it's down and it's by a tree. Again, 60, 70 range, 69, 70 range. This is going to be a lot of fun, I'm telling you right now. Well, let's check it out, shall we? Okay, this one's a very, very uh, interesting one here. It's literally like in the tree. And it's at the point where I can't get my pinpointer in there because of the roots. But it's like way deep in there. Fortunately... I happen to hold one of these. And a huge shout out to Metal Sharks. We just had them on uh, Mayor Video's uh, Creator Meet and Greet. And when I, we just happened to be talking about roots and trees and trying to get stuff with the best way to deal with it. And uh, Metal Shark said, patience is a virtue. Use patience. If you have patience, you can do it. So I'm putting that to the test. <laughs> you know, but... Um, it's not that I'm giving up on patience, I'm giving up on uh, how far I can get in there. So, thank you for the advice, Metal Sharks. Highly appreciate it, but I gotta get back to work. I gotta see if I can get this. Please be a coin. <laughs> Alright, I owe you guys a whole. Um, it, it, there's almost really no way for me to figure out exactly how far down it is. And it's like literally under a giant root. That root has got to be about like that big. And because I'm still trying to figure out this machine, it could just be for all for naught. I'd rather uh, just do another hole. <laughs> uh, of course, I'll, we're going to put this back together. But yeah, if you got patience, you got patience. But uh, mine ran out, I guess. <laughs> it didn't really run out. But it's like, I don't know the machine that well. And chances are it could be something totally different than what I'm hoping on. So I'm going to do one more hole back to the car. And then we're going to call it there. So... There you go, Mr. Tree. You are all set. Okay, I was on the way back to the car. I owe you guys a hole. And uh, we got something there that's in like 88, 72. It actually hit up to 90 a couple of times. There's a 90 right there. Um, God, I love this. Pull back, it's not there. Something there. Go that way, it's not there. Therefore, it's like literally right there. And it says it's going to be deep, so let's see what it is. Okay, uh, that last hole, I don't know how deep it was, but there was no way I was going to go any deeper. There just wasn't. So, got a 20, a 19 piece of scrap, which is fine. I just want to dig one more thing before we call it a day. So, it's right about here, and it's near the top. There, there you have it. There's the last find of the show. <laughs> Okay, yeah, um, over the next uh, month or two, expect to see a lot of that on this uh, on this program while I'm trying to figure out the simplex. Like I said, that one was like an 89, 90, but it was deep, and I, I'm in front of a school, and I did not want to go any deeper than I felt comfortable with. So, anyhow, without further ado, we will see you at the end complete. <laughs> All right, this is the end complete, and do me a favor, and don't get comfortable. <laughs> this is not going to take long. I only got out for two days. I was supposed to get an extra hunt in, but nothing will ruin your day more than a letter from the IRS. <laughs> so that postponed one of my days, so that's the reason why we had a life fine. But anyhow, let's go over the thing that we found. Uh, this is the Rust in Peace section. You guys didn't see these due to the fact that I dug these on my birthday. I actually did go out, and this is all I got <laughs> for a birthday. That was it. I'm like, oh, it's too cold. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Especially when all I'm finding is, like, super huge pieces of rust. But it's rust in peace. I do believe you guys saw that. And there's also a nail. And that little thing in my bob there. Ultra crap. Oh, yeah, did we get ultra crap? We, we even got super ultra mega crap. This is from one of those Pringles cans. I, I usually never show these just because I hate them that much. But yeah, we got the ultra crap. Miscellaneous. Uh, this is far from jewelry. 
I was kind of hoping it was, but hey, what are you going to do? Yeah, so that's just, I have no idea what it is. That's why it's miscellaneous. This looks like it's part of a siding. Like some old aluminum siding that I could be wrong. Not totally sure. Pull tabs. Donate your pull tabs. You guys know that. Let's see. Uh, bottle cap section. Uh, some were surface fine. Some were dug. Uh, you know me. I like to pick up stuff as I go along. Help clean up a tad. So, yeah, we got a good amount of... Excuse me. If you guys know the reason why I did that, then I don't need to explain myself. <laughs> For those of you that don't, don't worry. Don't worry. It's no big deal. I just find it that I'm never drinking Coke again, no matter what. Uh, service finds. We got uh, the can that you saw. Found a pen. Actually found two pens. One of these vape thingy. Actually, I'm sorry. Two vape thingies. And this is actually kind of a cool little cap. And, of course, a pen. But right now, what we're going to do is we are going to go check out Scrappy Digs. Find another week. Hi guys, it's me. I'm um, Scrappy Diggs, and today I well, this is my find. It's right over here. TW is gonna dig it up for me. I was watching the doggy across the street. He's a pesky puppy, but TW, get to work. Okay, guys, uh, Tripwire dug it out for me, but I still can't figure out how to use a shovel. Come on, Tripwire, help me out a little bit. It's in the clump. There it is. It's right there. Let me see what my find is. Let me see what my find is. I want to know. I want to know. It could be anything. Oh, look. Look. I did it. You I did it. I found another penny. I'm the penny finding puppy. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Scrappy Diggs. And there you have it. The penny finding puppy strikes again. Scrappy Diggs found us a penny. Okay, so on to the cooler stuff. Yeah, I just found like a little slew of pennies uh, first day I got out. That is about it. You know, I'm be getting out more and more. I'm still learning the simplex, so hopefully all this will be a lot better in the future. Find of the week. I was actually surprised to find two nickels. Yeah, it's, it's not always like the biggest, brightest thing that you find. To me, I was happy to find two nickels. Therefore, that is my find of the week. Anyhow, I do want to say thank you very, very much, Adventures with Goat, for that super ultra cool shout out. If you guys get a chance, check out his channel. I'll throw it in the uh, in the description below. And if you guys like to do coin collecting, if you're into coin collecting at all, you don't want to miss this Friday coming up on the vault coin collecting. I got some stuff I'm going to show you guys. This just arrived. And I do believe you guys are going to want to check it out. Anyhow, I thank you all very much for watching. And uh, do me a favor. Like, subscribe. Keep the hunt alive. And until next Saturday, we'll see you. Thank you so much for watching. Later.